That's an old one. This, this is a new one. I wrote it a couple of weeks ago. I've got I'm feeling so brandy. <laughs> <laughs> this is called Breath of Angels. I've got five minutes. <laughs> Amidst a poetry spillage, I sit and ponder, wonder at meaning of words, when more is less. When never is for nobody. Where no one is forever, always counting backwards. Measure time from your last breath to the beginning. Singing apple corn and daisies, open fresh for each new day. And closing maybe for the rest. The lingering tingle <coughs> touches me from outside in. I sing the breath of angels. Mm. And this, if I can find it, is something that I'm still writing and I would appreciate your response to. <laughs> okay, it's called Bonus Poem and it's going to use up all the rest of the five minutes, so let me give it a we're all millionaires, and you're all fucked. We've trousered all the bonuses, now you can have the muck. The shit from the soles of shoes that we got stuck up the asses of the proles as we trod our path. You're all millionaires. You think you've got it made, but all the world can see you now, and you should be afraid. The time has come for judgment. Best buy shares in a stockade. Keep your pretty heads down low as debts must be repaid. We're all millionaires, we've all got heirs. We're graceless, greedy <coughs> bastards and we don't care. Shove it in our wallets, shove it up yours. We're off to drink bubbly till it seeps out of our pores. You're all millionaires. You think that you are cool. But see yourself in mirror shades and you look like a fool. You're, we're spitting in your kitchen and we're pissing in your pool as we are sipping on your cocktail, sitting high on your bar stool. You're all, oh, sorry, we're all millionaires. We don't give a stuff. Nothing is for nothings. Enough is not enough for us. Flash from the showroom, we drive fast cars. Money can't be eaten, so we eat caviar. You're all millionaires. But what gives you the right to line your silky pockets and leave us with all the shite? Take heed of our warning, we have got you in our sight. The edifice will tumble when the workers all unite. We're all millionaires and we don't care. We took what we wanted when we kicked you down the stair. Tenderised and bloody, we like our fillet rare. So suck deep by our exhaust pipes as you suck in your despair. You're all millionaires, you think that we are dumb, but we stood silent witness for the reckoning to come. We know we have been shafted, and we heard the shafter laugh, because we were there to see you blowing bubbles in our bath. We're all millionaires, we think we've got it made, building palaces in palaces inside mock Palisades, proper Prince of Nottingham can stuff your Robin Hood, just robbing from the stupid, mugging off because you could. You're all millionaires, the writing's on the wall, the further up the greasy pole, the further you will fall. With heads stuck up in some dark place you've built your ivory towers, but show us your humanity and we will show you ours. With heads stuck up in some dark place, you built your ivory towers. But show us your humanity, and we will show you ours. He said, Lemsip would cure my ills, make me whole again. Lemsip, an appearant for words. On top of the bathroom cabinet, I found two boxes, green and yellow and topped with years of dust. I brushed off the dust with my writing fingers. For luck, no, not because I'm a flimsy housewife. The slim box said fever, tick, headache, 
tick. Sore throat, tick. Runny nose, tick. It didn't say cure for writer's block. There were four sachets inside. I decided to take all four at once. Ouch, the bitter tongue of self-indulgence. And now I am floating, half alive and floating, and eyeing up the second fatter box with nine <coughs> out of ten remaining. Not where they're going, particularly as this one says, max strength. Now there's a limit for you. The fat box has a flip top and promises effective soothing relief. Then I see expiry date 010200. Oh well, missed again. But wait a minute. On the back it says, your guarantee, if this product reaches you in an unsatisfactory condition, please return it to us and we will promptly replace it or refund your money. Yes. This product reached me covered in dust. It was aged, and the cardboard was warped and lacking in something that rhymes with dust. But no, it's not money I want back. Later, tiptoeing up to the bathroom, I replace Lemsit Slim and Lemsit Fat and leave their memories to gather as much dust as mine has serves them right for being so bitter. Petrol permitting, I shall go out and buy a lemon fresh box <laughs> And um, And it was all typed, it was typed from one of those old fashioned typewriters, you could tell, it was absolutely lovely. And he said, thank you very much for your poem, it made me smile. <laughs> I don't know what I was going to read tonight. Anyway, this is the poem. Um, it's called Last Out. Some male poets are forever seeking new words, rhymes with words, to begin their poems, their lines, their lies, their lives. An entire collection of the unexpected. It's expected and accepted. Books full of beautiful first words, well read now, spines broken later. Rhymes read time after time after time, <coughs> off by heart, off the beat. Okay, come up me now with a new word. Unheard, unspoken, unbroken, clean, lead sharp or gasping for its first breath. First word as bold as life. Bullying for its first release, hollering for its first voice, first eye, first tongue. Thirsting for the syllable, the sound, the round rhyme of it, the round belly roll of it. Give a sign of it, a signal, a symbol, a gist of the inflection, a thrusting reflection of trusted deception. An inkling of its blooming squint, its spying, double-blinded, visionary, double-visioned, check the aerial eye. Come on, come at me now. It's your duty. Your profession, no confessions or our fathers or self-flailing. Come on, don't fail me. What's it to be? Oh, no, don't ask me. I am but a woman, weak and frail, whose symbol doesn't even sketch the first line, nor the first word in, never the last laugh of the line. Will you leave the last word to me? The one that has been and gone, passed, and left a live, white, scorching sky trail of a line. Not on the door, oh please God, not on the door. That won't wither or fade, or thin or get thinner, but lies across the skin as stark as a stretch mark, as a stripped vein, as a surgeon's pen, a cartridge empty, shot. I'll tie up the line before I put the washing out to weather like birds. <laughs> <laughs>